I'm going to tie a rubber leg stimulator and I'm starting with a size 8 hopper hook in the vise and the thread that I use is a 6 aught fire orange. I'll start this at about the two thirds mark, take enough wraps to get it locked in and trim. In addition to this being a rubber leg pattern, I'm also going to make it a foam uh, wrapped body and that's going to help uh, it float. I use this pattern often as my uh, indicator fly. So you need something that's going to stay afloat all day. At this point I can tie in my tail and I'm going to use an elk hair. I'll remove a clump that's about the same uh, diameter as the gape in the in the hook, maybe a little bit less. I'll trim it from the hide, I'll hold it by the tip and I'll remove the uh, under fur as well as any of the short bits. I'll put it in my stacker and give it some taps and then remove and then the other thing that I want to do is hold it by the butts this time and just knock out any of those short tips so I can get a, a uniform body in this. And so I'll set it on top. I want it to go just beyond uh, the end of the hook here. I'll switch my hands and I'll take a straight cut up and some loose wraps to start to make sure that the butts are in place and then I'll advance my way up to about the barb and the hook and then I'm going to rotate this upside down. I'm going to put a drop of either Zappa Gap or super glue on the threads and on the hair and because I'm going to wrap a foam body I don't want to have that spin on me. So the super glue or Zappa Gap will help keep that in place. Now I can tie in my hackle and the first round is going to be uh, a furnace hackle. So I've sized this appropriately. I'm going to remove some of the fibers from the bottom to expose that stem and then I'll tie this in to the side. Now I can add in my foam and for that I'm going to use a yellow uh, closed cell foam and I've cut this into about an eighth of an inch uh, strip and I've also put one end into a bit of a point and that's the end I tie in helps it grab a little better uh, and lowers the profile. So now I can take that strip I'll apply some pressure as I pull and make side by side wraps up the shank and when I reach my thread I'll tie it off. And then I can remove that excess one more wrap in for good measure and now I can advance my hackle forward so nice even wraps here I wouldn't worry too much about trying to stay in the same lanes as you did the the foam you won't see a lot of those foam markings as you continue to work this through so I'll take one wrap up tie it off and then I can trim and now at this point I can tie in my wing and so I'm going to go through the same process as I did my tail I've got my elk hair I'll remove a clump about the same volume I'll remove any of the short pieces and the under fur. Put it in my stacker. Remove it. One final inspection here. And then when I measure this out, I want it to 
go all the way to the end of the tail and so I'll hold it on place again transfer hands and make my straight cut I may catch some of those hackle fibers as I do that that's alright I'll take enough to bind it down stroke those back and then come back through with my through with my wraps at this point I can add in the next piece of hackle and that's going to be a, a grizzly hackle and again I've got a hackle selected here and sized appropriately clean off the bottom set it on its side and tie it in at this point then I'm going to put in one band of dubbing before I tie in my legs and I'm going to use an ice dub and this is in an olive so I'll take a pinch dub it on and then I can add in my my legs and for that I'm going to use uh, barred um, legs here and these are in green and black and I'll take it double it over put it in place and then take a wrap back through. You have plenty of opportunities to adjust these legs so uh, they don't need to be perfect first time around. And I'll repeat the process and place them on the other side. And I'll make a rough, rough trim for length. Now I can come back to kind of position these again. If they're facing forward don't worry about it. We're going to dub in front of it. Uh, and it's going to put them into that V shape or X shape. And then I'll take another pinch of my olive ice dub. I'll hold the legs back. Take my wraps on top. And then I can pull these legs back and advance my thread in front and again repeat the process with my ice step. So I'll hold these legs back again and I'll create a little dubbing dam here and then I'll leave my thread where I'll tie in my, my head and you can see how those legs are now into a little bit more of a, an X position. Now I'll bring my hackle through and you just need to negotiate around the around the legs as you do. I take one wrap at the base, take one wrap behind, one in between, one in front, and one more in front of my head, and then I can tie it off. Hold the legs back, take some wraps to make sure it's not going anywhere, and trim. Now I can build out a little thread head here. Again, hold everything back. And whip finish.
and trim. Now you can clean up your legs to whatever length you like. I'll put a drop of head cement on the threads. And you can play with the legs still at this point. And that is a rubber leg stimulator, the foam wrap body.